Hello everybody, I'm Master Austin Levin, and welcome back to Doki Doki Within. I'm not the original Doki Doki Literature Club, I've said this before, I don't feel the need to say it again. But, also, it has been far too long since the last episode of this series. You might notice, based on part 8, or part 9, whatever the latest part was, besides this episode that I'm recording right now, you might notice, yes, a different background. Uh, yeah, this is literally my bedroom right now, so yeah, it's a bit of a different background. Um, I don't- what is- actually, hold up, what? Oh, that's my chair. Yeah, you might know, it's my bed, it's not made, don't judge me. <laughs> different backgrounds, so we're dealing with stuff here, but let's go ahead and get into this episode and get into things. Because yeah, we asked it to do, guys, but it's lunchtime. Normally, I'll be spending it with Monica, but I've not seen her all morning. I haven't tried calling her between classes only for it to ring before I went to answer the answer machine. Sure, I was concerned this morning. Now I'm starting to get worried. Even as I go through the cramped corridors, I still see no sign of her. Eventually, though, I spot someone who might have seen her. I pick up my speed. Oh, hey, Austin. You wouldn't have seen Monica around, would you? I stopped dead in my tracks. Y you haven't seen her? That's just she stormed out of PE, no. See what? My heart sinks. What what happened? Well, we were in the changing rooms and everything was kind of normal at first. Like, I'm not expecting you to know how girls act, but sometimes it can get pretty toxic in there. And well, today Monica got caught up in it. How so? I've got a feeling that anything I could possibly hear will enrage me. I better slowly to call myself in preparation. How it keeps her voice low enough for me to hear. To make an overly long s short story, two of the bitchier girls in the class spotted those few mocks you left on Monica, and they just started saying all sorts of shit to her. Just imagine what you've heard people call each other in this school. Take that and chuck it out the window, because from the way Kaho described it, may they bloody tore into her. And indeed was well by the sounds of it. I feel my brain starting to quicken. Oh, crap, I didn't... I didn't mean to skip it, damn it. I didn't mean to skip it. They didn't have to say any of the, They didn't even have to say any of what those two girls had said to Monica, but my mind's already making sure to come up with possibilities. I mean, yeah, it, it'll do that to you. It will do that to you. My chest tightens. Ryuji looks over to me. In his eyes, there lays a layer of concern that I've rarely ever seen from him. If ever. Hey, you feeling okay? I shakily nod. Yeah, I'm fine. I just I think we just need some air. I'm lying through my teeth. If you two do see Monica, just let her know I've tried calling her. I'm just really worried about her. Of course we'll let her know. I nod, silently thinking them both before I head off. Turn on my heel and start making my way towards the roof. Maybe Monica's gone up there during my time downstairs. Either way, it gives me time to work on the poem I didn't get to finish last night. Cool. Well, as you know, things are about to get pretty rough. After the bell ring, I unlocked the cubicle I was in and stepped... Wait. A cubicle like those office cubicles? Like the... Oh yeah, I guess the stalls. I guess the stalls are the cubicles, I guess. I, I don't know. I guess the stalls act like cubicles. But it calmed down from my initial breakdown. I haven't talked to. I've not been taught. Oh, I've not been taught. I'm stupid, guys. I can't read. I think I need to go back to elementary school English or middle school English because obviously I can't fucking read. <laughs> I've not been talked to like that from anyone in school in a long time. Especially not to that degree. It was worse than of them trying to make me seem like some slut. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Some of the can't. That can't keep her legs shut. Oh, oh, wait. So now we're in Monica's perspective. Okay, interesting. Because, yeah, it's talking about us in like third person. Okay. It's not in Monica's perspective. Okay, gotcha. When they brought Austin to the equation, I couldn't stand for that. In a way, I feel like what they said about him hurt me more than what they said about me. Have I grown numb to being talked down to? If I had, though, would I have been crying for the last god knows how many minutes? I take one look at myself in the mirror. Austin would be happier without you. You can't keep hiding everything from him. You'll end up letting everything slip out eventually. You're too effed up for someone like him. My heart exits. I muttered to myself. As much as I want to deny it, I can't help but feel it might be true. I know Austin's been hurting. I can tell by the look in his eyes. And I haven't done a single thing to do anything about it. Maybe if he was with one of the others, he wouldn't be worrying so much. My dad was right about me not having a clue what I'm going to do with my life. Maybe I should... Hey. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Relax. Well, that's a little too deep. That's too far. Okay, guys, advice for you all. I have a feeling I know where that line was going before. Well, she stopped it. 
But <laughs> if you are having thoughts about, you know, um, sudokuing yourself or something, then get some help. Call a um hotline and let them know what's going on, or talk to a family member. Anyone is here to help. But yeah, just talk to a family member, call a hotline. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm talking about this right now. I should have just ignored it. Oh well, <laughs> you guys know who I am. I don't give a shit. I've snapped my two reality by the sense of further that's coming down the hall. Unless I've talked accompanied by a voice that I can't quite make out. Just in case they're coming here, I return to my cubicle and lock the door. Uh, well, it's gonna be those girls, isn't it? It's gonna be those girls, isn't it? And they're gonna know it's Monica and be bitches again, because that's who they are. Let me guess. There, it's gonna be the girls. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be the girls. And actually, real quick, guys, eh, that's a little better. That's a little better. See the lighting. Okay. See, I'm professional. I'm totally professional. Totally. Totally not the most unprofessional YouTuber you've ever met. What hope is as I hear the door open. Don't even start on Sadako. I bet she just, she just crawled out of a fucking well. Oh, uh, uh, yep, I knew it. Freaking called it, guys. I called it. Damn. I'm too good at this. I try my to keep silence as they continue their conversation. Well, this conversation more of a vehicle for them to degrade other students. However, it's not too long until something they say catches my attention. So you can call me the other day. Oh uh, yeah? what she want? Nothing much. I thought I'd tell her about her and her ex, though. Austin? Yeah. She said that her Monica's standards are non-existent or she's desperate. Oh, she's desperate, all right. I can feel my, bro I can feel my blood starting to sl slowly boil. Did you know that she let Austin bite her? Because I can go scoffs. You serious? Yep. There's one in her neck, one in her back, and one in her arm. Oh. Three. Wait. We were only let know of the neck one in the, pre in the previous episode. We were only let known of the neck one. We were never let known about the two other marks, like in the last episode. Well, that's news. That that's news. Here up here. Okay, I'm not saying that word. I may let the series be a bit more extreme. I let myself go a little bit out of the box in terms of words I allow myself to say in the series, but I will not say that. That that's wow. That too far. You're a pair of weird. Blah. Yeah. I'll say blah now for those. Or we'll just censor it if I say it. <laughs> I'm probably not going to say it at all. But I grimace internally. I despise that word. Which is already not a... Oh my... Oh, a small sneeze. Oh no. How goes into overdrive? Like, okay. <laughs> Who knocks like that? If someone knocks your stall door like that, then that's not okay. You are in danger. That that's not normal. It is not a normal set of knocks. That was that sounded a bit um what's the right word for it? You know I can't think of it. Let's just continue. A quick person knocks on the cubicle door. Somebody in there? Yeah. Who knocks like that? Who knocks like that, dude? No one knocks like that, bro. No one's gonna knock. If they knock like that, then you are in grave danger. That's not. That's not. Normally, it's like a, like, small few knocks. Not like hammering. It's like they're trying to burst your door down and break it. It's like they're trying to get you to come out so they can like steal stuff from you or get you to pay the money for some you owe them. I don't know. It sounds. It sounds pissed. I still don't budge. Knocks gonna become quicker, more aggressive. Why are they becoming more aggressive? There's no point in knock that bad. The hell? Why are they knocking so aggressively? Are they trying to murder her? Jesus. A brief whimper. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Okay, she's a bitch. <laughs> she's a bitch. Sweetheart, please open the door. Oh, hell no. Oh, oh. Oh, Kotanaha for the win, baby. Kotanaha saving us so hard. Oh my, those girls were not, they were dangerous. They were not okay. Kotanaha for the win, honestly. It saved us. She knows we're in. Okay. At least she's on our side. I didn't show for class, I figured you had to be somewhere. You look frightened. Oh, yeah. One of the girls who... 
that shamed you in front of at least one of her classmates, talks shit about you, calls you and your boyfriend all sorts of horrible things. Only then, wait, only then to then try get. I'm having a stroke reading this. Only then to then try get. Yeah, okay, I'm not reading them. I'm not. Just... I swear, why is the English so fucked up? You can't type simple speech bubbles. Okay. Okay. And that is too far. Too far. That's too far. Yeah, no. No. I'm trying to think about a word this. Don't think that you are not worth that to someone. You're saying based off of um what Monica said right here, right here. Don't say things like that. If you think that your boyfriend or husband or whomever is better off without you, that's not okay. Talk to a family member, talk to a friend, talk to them about what's going on. Because they can help you. Don't think you're not worth it to someone, because you are. You are worth it to your family, to whomever you care about. You are worth it. Don't think you ever aren't. That is not okay. <laughs> and if you're going through that, then talk to a family member or a friend. Seriously. I'm not kidding. So he told me this, uh... Oh, well, yeah. It's killing me. It seems hurting. I mean, it is kind of quite literally killing her. I'm just saying. He has little knowledge my dad puts me down every single chance. He has to put, put up with me every time I break down. That's part of a relationship. Bruh. Yeah, oh my god. Monica. Monica. Partners. Handling each other's shit. Not, not even that. But just taking care of each other. And caring for each other. Talking to each other about your problems. And... The hard times, the good times, going through all those. That's what makes a relationship good. If someone is willing to go if someone's willing to go with you through the hard times of your life, then that's a part of that you, you deserve. Like mom. The MC is willing to go through some rough shit for you. Oof. Yikes. Damn. Okay, then my throat starts to ache. I just keep crying. Damn. Boy, boy. Well, that's the problem. People see Monica as, like, perfect. That's the issue. People are imperfect. People view Monica as perfect. Why isn't she just let it all out, honestly? She's just so loved one. She's not perfect. I don't know about you guys, but... What's more, there's silence. Every time eventually starts talking again. Pretty much like I'm being mean. Have you ever considered seeing a therapist? I mean. That's not a bad idea, to be honest. With what she's going through, a therapist is not a bad idea. I'm not gonna lie. I think it really needs to let off some steam. And look at the tear stains I left to come out as a blazer. <laughs> Now that's what a real friend is like. We can always see about you staying in one of the staff rooms. Yeah, well, that'd be best. Monica's going through some rough shit. Another school day. Next to its end. Is that right? Okay. I'm thinking they're already at an all time high. The longer I walk through these borderline, hold on, let me actually read this. The I walk through these borderline identical holes, the thoughts of what happened to you. Okay. Why are the halls of the school pretty much identical? Like, the walk. It sounds like it just make you go insane, honestly. It sounds like it just drive your mind crazy, because if the holes are identical and look the exact same. Mm, yeah, just. Yeah. That, I don't know. I don't want to sleep. 
I don't know, guys. I don't know. All I do know, though, is that things are interesting right now. Oh, I'm with the Yuri! Yay! Seem lost. Um. Yeah, I mean, he's worried about Monica. I mean, yeah. Do you ever hear what happened to Monica? No one's tried starting on you, have they? Says the weird looks not really okay. Yeah, of course, people are gonna give weird looks. They're gonna give weird looks. They're, just, they're gonna give weird looks. They're, they're just not gonna talk shit. That was before any of this happened. How did Monica respond to that, if you don't mind me asking? She did get upset, but I can't tell if that was because of the joke or something else. They yeah, could do the company, honestly. Then they long to get to the club room as soon as you step in and someone by the front desk. Now that's wholesome. That's sweet. I'm gonna put her arms around me, but stay silent. I tried calling you. Why didn't you tell me what happened? I want you to see me in the state I was in. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you kind of get right on the dot there with that question. That's kind of right on the bullseye. Hard thing is she knows in response to my question. I know this sounds stupid. There's a small part of me that's scared that you do. Her emerald eyes sparkle in spite of her tears. Nothing could ever make me think less of you. Aww. That's wholesome. Now that right there. That right there, guys. If someone is with you, you can see that they actually care about you. If they don't, then they're not worth the energy. If they do care about you, then cool. If they don't, again, they're probably not worth your energy. Probably not. Either way, ever. You mean it? Always will. <laughs> and they're all blushing. Look at <laughs> oh, this is actually pretty cute. Uh, man, this is a wholesome episode, guys. This is a wholesome one. We didn't have sharing poems at all. You and I, Monica, have been feeling we decided to be better to relax. Monica takes a chance to de stress her and Natsuki decides to start a new manga, and you're not able to continue the book we were reading. Natsuki didn't apologize for the remarks she made this morning. But by the sounds of it, it wasn't the joke that upset Monica. The first time, all five of us decided to leave together. When we got to my street, he gave us all a hug before heading inside her home. And I'll talk to you soon. Alright. It's always nice to see you two being as close as you are. You two are one of the sweetest couples I've ever seen. Now that is cute. That is pretty cute. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Why do you have to just say it? Why? If you say that, you're gonna jinx it. If you say that you got the feeling something bad's gonna happen, then it's probably going to happen. Why? Why? Just... Bruh. Just bruh. It's... <laughs> My god. Why do you... <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't say if you say it's gonna happen don't say it and maybe something bad won't happen well either way it probably would happen to be honest but you never know really god damn you literally just jinxed it you literally just jinxed it dude my god ha our man is lying our boy is literally lying. Half true? Half true? My ass, that's half true. Well, actually, no, it's probably half true. He's pulling stuff out of his ass. He's lying. Everything you helped me, or maybe he's not. It's probably out of my system. Friends should, honestly, friends should be available. Friends should be available for you to talk to. If a friend isn't available for you to talk to them about something that's going on in your life, but then they're not a true friend. Or maybe they have a funeral or something, I don't know. 
By the way, friends should listen to you. Alright, nice. That's pretty wholesome, dude. Well. I eventually come to my house, my heart immediately sinks. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ooh. A letter. No. A letter. What is it? Which is New York. Ooh. New York sounds nice. Good job for the international business course. I never apply for. Oh. No. My face contorted by sheer disbelief. Did you do this? Please want to answer. Give me a flat. It had to be done. Oh no. Bruh. Henshi? Wow. Okay, I heard that's a dick. Leeching, <laughs> what the fuck are you going on about? Also, did you forget that I've got friends here, let alone a boyfriend? That's as he guys pierce his mind. First of all, watch your damn language in my house. It's like, I'll give you the slightest person that I gave a shit about your friends. Damn. He's an asshole. Everything you're going for a wet. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. I think I'm more shit still from him. I mean, yeah, it's not really the business, honestly. It's kind of the defense I've only ever thought of. I find if you've been all worked over my relationship. Why are you just that fat someone that's shown me more love in a few months than you ever have an eight? That long? Bruh. That's too long for this kind of abusive relationship. That's way too long. Damn. Be embarrassed. Was this like that hard that it's fucking bleeding? Jesus. And we'll carry on from there. Well, we can forget about this little scuffle. Oh my god. No, no. I can't drag him along with me like this. I can't keep dragging myself through this. And I'm not being caught in tears and blood. Oh, God. Start to sob. Oh, jeez. That's not great. All right, guys. Okay, I don't want that ringing console here in my ear. All right. Well, guys, let's get with this episode.
Hope you all enjoyed. Um, yeah. Just, wow. Extreme things today. Very extreme things today. It's been a crazy episode. Hope you all enjoyed. This series will be continuing. I'll be continuing until the very end. Depending on, no matter how long it takes, I guess. I'll be continuing it till the very end. Hope you all did enjoy. Guardian Tales is coming back. All these series, I'll be continuing them. I've just been focusing on other series and recording other videos that I honestly kind of forgot about this series and Guardian Tales, but I'll be continuing them. Either way, hope you all enjoyed. If you could leave a like down below if you enjoyed, click the subscribe button if you want to know more content on this channel. Click on that bell, turn on your post notifications by clicking all. And I'll see y'all later. Hope y'all enjoyed. And I'll see y'all next episode on Doki Doki Within. As we see what's going on. And I'll see what Monica's gonna do because of her dad. Cause yeah, this is this is getting rough. See you guys later though. Peace. Wow.